in what ways has high inflation altered your life? Uh, it's made shopping at the grocery store much more expensive. There's virtually no sales anymore. Everything is full price, and the full price has increased from what it used to be. I, I'm actually new to Canada, <laughs> and uh, I've only been here for about a month, but I've noticed the prices are about four times higher than what I'm used to paying. And where's that? Uh, Taiwan. Taiwan, okay. Yeah, so how does it... So how does that change your life? So, I mean, you know, usually you go to budget, uh, say, take out 50 bucks, but we just had uh, lunch and it was $53. But usually 50 bucks would get us uh, dinner, give us a snack, and we'd buy some clothes too. Now it's, it's just straight lunch. Absolutely. Well, especially uh, being a, you know, a first-time home buyer, uh, our savings has gone less, to, much down comparatively, you know, uh, what I saved in 2019 and 2020. And coming back to 2022 after pandemic, you know, uh, barely we could save anything anymore. So yeah, inflation has, you know, affected us. Uh, uh, our grocery budget has widened up. Uh, well, our increment in our uh, job salaries has not been able to keep up with inflation. So yeah, absolutely, you know. Basically, it's just affected my groceries. Thankfully, I, I own my home, so that, that part of it hasn't affected anything. But uh, groceries have gone up. Basically, yeah. no home costs gone up at all. Not thankfully, not. And I got in with low, low interest rates. So when I have to renew, that'll be probably an issue. But at that time, hopefully, there's a little more equity or something, so that helps. It's a little scary to think how it's gone up. And being retired and on fixed income, it's uh, you kind of wonder what the future is going to hold. Uh, it definitely has, in a sense, because especially with gas prices going up, it's very hard to kind of get around nowadays. So it's pretty pretty much I walk, I walk a lot now, carpooling, biking. It's nice to get the physical activity in, uh, but it's just definitely with how much things have gone up, it's hard to kind of live the normal lifestyle that I've been used to. Oh, well, I mean, we try to make good choices with uh, food and uh, riding bikes instead of driving and doing what we can. Well, it hasn't really affected me yet. <laughs> I mean, I'm retired, so I don't have to worry about, you know, work. And it's, especially in the last two years of pandemic, I didn't have to struggle with uh, being able to go to work or working from home, which, uh, which had its own difficulties. Um, the cost of living, of course, is going up. Prices of everything are, is going up. But I'm so far able to maintain myself uh, in this time and uh, enjoying life gas that's why i got this electric bike uh i find gas is way too high right now and uh it's ridiculous it's pretty bad when people have to go uh where foods in, uh, the food is ridiculous right now like like i went went to the store and i think i picked up a roast and i think it was like three or four dollars more than what i'd normally pay for a roaster um but I'd say the bigger killer for me would be the gas. That's why I use my e-bike. I go to work all the time, back and forth with it. I have a lot less uh, exposable uh, income. I'm on a fixed income. I'm a senior. And I filled up with gas the other day. 35 gallons came to $75. I went to the grocery store and I bought a few staples and it ended up being just $89. And you know, like I got, I think, 1.4 uh, increase for the rate of uh, inflation on my CPP or OAS. It doesn't cover it. High inflation. Well, my wife and I are retired, and uh, we feel fortunate that uh, it, <laughs> it hasn't impacted us in a big way. Obviously, we're paying more for things. Uh, we can choose, and we do choose, to spend less and spend differently. Uh, on items that maybe we might not have before, but uh, for the most part, uh, without a mortgage and debt, uh, I think those are some big issues that uh, affect a lot of people. I'm from Victoria, so it's virtually impossible to live on your own. So I've even moved out a couple times and had to move back, and without the support of my parents, I don't know how I would do it on myself. Minimum wage, jobs. I mean, I know that the, uh, the wage has gone up, but then the cost of living has gone up so much more. It's it's honestly almost unlivable. And then university fees alone, like if you actually look through the fees, <laughs> then you'll see what am I actually paying for? 
And so even if you do move out your, on your own, then yeah, the gas, the food, everything is just like so inflated. It's, I don't know how to make it out on my own. It's really hard. <laughs> I'm lucky. It's not really impacting me that much. Um, I've, I'm retired. I have index pension. So lucky that way. Um, I guess maybe I'm doing a few things different. A um, bit more resourceful on how I'm I'm eating out of my freezer. How's that? All the stuff that I've had sitting in my freezer for a year, it's coming out and I'm eating it now. <laughs>